Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of this series. Let's move to question number 51. Buoyancy in hydrotherapy assist in Option A. Increasing joint compression Option B. Reducing weight bearing Option C. Increasing resistance to movement Option D. Enhancing muscle spasm And the answer is Option B. Reducing weight bearing Now let's move to question number 52. Fondo Forces uses ultrasound to deliver Option A. Heat Option B. Electrical current Option C. Medication Option D. Vibration And the answer is Option C. Medication Now let's move to question number 53 Electrode size selection for a large muscle group should prioritize Option A. Small electrode for focus stimulation Option B. Large electrode to reduce current density Option C. Asymmetric sizes for directional current. Option D. Circular electrode for even dispersion. And the answer is... Option B. Large electrode to reduce current density. Now let's move to question number 54. Hydrostatic pressure in hydrotherapy assist in... Option A. Decreasing circulation. Option B. Increasing edema. Option C. Reducing swelling. Option D. Decreasing muscle tone. And the answer is... Option C. Reducing swelling. Now let's move to question number 55. The viscosity of water provides Option A. Assistance to movement. Option B. Resistance to movement. Option C. Decrease sensory input. Option D. Increased joints mobility. And answer is Option B. Resistance to movement. Now let's move to question number 56. The high specific heat of water allows for Option A. Rapid temperature changes. Option B. Slow and effective heat transfer. Option C. Minimal thermal effect. Option D. Localized cooling. And the answer is... Option B. Slow and effective heat transfer. Now let's move to question number 57. Whirlpool therapy is specifically indicated for... Option A. Acute inflammation. Option B. Uncontrolled infection. Option C. Wound debridement. Option D. Thromboplebitis. And the answer is... Option C. Wood debridement. Now let's move to question number 58. A Hubbard tank is specifically designed for Option A. Localized extremity treatment Option B. Full body immersion Option C. Contrast bathing Option D. Paraffin wax application And the answer is Option B. Full body immersion. Now let's move to question number 59. Contrast bath therapy involves alternating immersion in Option A. Hot and cold water. Option B. Warm and cold air. Option C. Salt water and fresh water. Option D. Static and agitated water. And the answer is... Option A. Hot and cold water. Now let's move to question number 60. Erythema skin reddening produced by UVR is mainly due to... Option A. UVA. Option B. UVB. Option C. UVC. Option D. All of the above. And the answer is... Option B. UVB. Now let's move to question number 61. Germicidal effect of UVR are strongest with Option A, UVA Option B, UVB Option C, UVC Option D, visible light And answer is Option C, UVC Now let's move to question number 62. The minimal erythemal dose that's MED is defined as Option A, maximum dose without Redness. Option B. Minimum dose producing redness in 1 hour. Option C. Minimum dose producing redness within 6 to 8 hours. Option A. Dose causing blistering. And the answer is... Option C. Minimum dose producing redness within 6 to 8 hours. Now let's move to question number 63. Psoriasis is commonly treated with... Option A. UVA. Option B. UVB. Option C. UVC. Option D. Infrared. And the answer is... Option B, UEB. Now let's move to question number 64. The acceleration of immunity with UVR treatment is associated with uh, Option A, counter irritation. Option B, esophilic effect. Option C, erythema. Option D, desquamation. And the answer is Option B, esophilic effect. Now let's move to question number 65. The contrast path therapy is indicated in conditions such as Option A, subacute inflammation. Option B, sprain and strains. Option C, peripheral vascular disease. Option D, all of above. And the answer is... Option D, all of above. Now let's move to question number 66. Paraffin oil is mixed with paraffin wax in order to... Option A, lower melting point. Option B, increase melting point. Option C, increase the thickness. Option D, decrease the thickness. 
and the answer is option a lower melting point now let's move to question number 67 the mode of heat transfer used hot packs whirlpool bath and paraffin wax baths involves option a conduction and convection option b conduction and radiation option c convection and radiation option d conversion and radiation and the answer is option a conduction and convection now let's move to question number 68 finely divided cellulose particle and air are circulated in fluidotherapy option b whirlpool therapy option c contrast bath option d humber tank and the answer is option a fluidotherapy now let's move to question number 69 when heat is applied to one area of the body and it results in increased blood flow to another part of the body this phenomena is known as option a or not scores principle Option B, Van Hoff's rule. Option C, Lewis hunting reaction. Option D, reflex vasodilation. And the answer is Option D, reflex vasodilation. Now let's move to question number 70. Infrared rays are typically classified in Option A, near infrared. Option B, far infrared. Option C, medium infrared. Option D, all of above. And the answer is Option D, all of above. Now let's move to question number 71. At what approximate distance should an infrared lamp of 750 volts is placed for safe and effective treatment? Option A 10 cm, Option B 50 cm, Option C 1 meter, Option D 2 meter. And the answer is Option C 1 meter. Now let's move to question number 72. Sweep frequency in interferential therapy is used to Option A. Prevent accommodation. Option B. Reduce skin impedance. Option C. Increase current amplitude. Option D. Target specific tissue depth. And the answer is Option A. Prevent accommodation. Now let's move to question number 73. The Arnold's course curve suggests the Option A. Low intensity stimuli inhibit cellular activity. Option B. Moderate intensity stimuli optimize tissue response. Option C. High intensity stimuli are always therapeutic option d no relationship exists between intensity and effect and the answer is option b moderate intensity stimuli optimize tissue response now let's move to question number 74 laser photobiomodulation primarily affects option a mitochondrial cytochrome c oxidized option c cell membrane sodium channel Option C, nuclear DNA repair. Option D, myelin sheet regeneration. And the answer is Option A, mitochondrial cytochrome seed oxidize. Now let's move to question number 75. The primary risk of prolonged NMES in deinnervated muscle is Option A, muscle hypertrophy. Option B, fibrosis and contracture. Option C, hypercalcemia. Option D, nerve regeneration. And the answer is Ocean B fibrosis and contracture. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please do mention in the comment box. I have given the detailed explanation inside our telegram channel and the concise explanation inside our description box. And for the for the next part, see you in the next week. Till then, bye bye.